Great viewers of my time, welcome to Blessed Biafra Network. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depend on your time zone. Today we have a great thing for you here, and I want you to listen to this video. It was Babangida, IBB. I want you to listen to this man. And uh, after that, I will be analyzing this in the end. Thank you so much. And stay tuned. Extra careful. Secondly, to devote more time and attention and intelligence uh, collection. You cannot fight such a war without adequate intelligence information. Not that the information will come to you. No, you can go to wherever you can to get the information for the purposes of carrying out your um, plans and so on and so on. So I hope a lot of emphasis will be put on intelligence collection. I hope and pray that uh, 2021 will be better than 2020. But that depends on us, Nigerians. If we make the best use of the lessons we learned in 2020, then we should be able to go through 2021 it will be much easier for us. I think at all levels, the leadership should be in a position to be in constant touch or dialogue with the citizenry. Uh, this time around, it calls for leadership by example, at local government, at state level, at the federal level, and so on. Because they have the knowledge, they have the way with them, they know where it is. So they want their citizens or their to imbibe some of the good things that ought to be done, either to improve on the security situation or to improve on the economic situation too. I think we what we need is the general mobilization of the citizen to recognize that the security threat is real and once they do that we should be able to mobilize the citizen to face that it's not anything new we did this before in 1967 to 1970 the whole uh, population was mobilized towards keeping the country one and everybody was involved. I think we should be considering things like this general mobilization of the entire citizenry against insecurity. You see what I'm talking about? That was IBB, Ibrahim Babangida. That was him talking. He's talking about mobilizing people to fight insecurity. And he claimed they did it in, from 1967 to 1970. You know, these people, they think we are stupid. They still think people are still stupid. That they mobilized people from 1967 uh, 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 to 1970 to kill the Igbos in the name of War, war it is, it was a complete genocide. And they think that will happen again this time around. You will die. You are an old man. You will die on it. If you think what you did f from 1967 to 1970, you, that your massacre was with hunger, kill their children, everything. I think. Do you people think we have forgotten all those things? Is it because our useless like governors are behaving like fools? Because of money, we are not forgotten anything. We are waiting. 
Champé star, we are waiting. Champé, we are waiting. None of you can do any damn shit. Look at the way he was talking. Useless old school Babangida. He was among the people that massacred Igbos for no reason. They started it even before the war. Sometimes I wonder why our governors and senators are so much dumb to forget so easily what these Fulanese did to our people. But this time around, nobody, nobody's, you are full again. You will see a different thing automatically. A different thing that you will not believe in your whole goddamn life. Because all, all, whatever I see in you now is just the goddamn life. All the whole blood, you massacre you did so many years ago is affecting you. I know you are already an old man. But you guys will always regret it. Look at how North is today. They are having Kwashoko, killing everywhere. That was what you did Ibo so many years ago. The repercussion, madden and the color cost to you people. And that cost will remain on to you. You came out openly and apologized to the Ibos. You do think we are stupid? Yeah. You want to mobilize, you have to uh, mobilize people to fight for insecurity. It's just like it's not a new thing. You did it uh, from 1967 to 1970. What are you talking about? It's just all about Ibos you're talking about. He used it to massacre Ibos, right? He collaborated with Eurobas. He, he, he brought Eurobas in. He deceived them and used them to, and the so called middle bet, and used them to massacre their brothers. Just, that was then, not now anymore. Try that shit, you will see a difference automatically. I'm telling you, Babangida, useless IBB. People, quiet, keep quiet for you people. You people think maybe you are, you know, you are too much or you know one thing or the other. Guys, don't your eye. Waiting where people they say don't ya I got don't ya I so memera memera that was before not now anymore we cannot allow you people to mess our life again to bring Fulanese from different places to come and they occupy our land our bushes that will never happen what is this insecurity all about where is this security it is there and you are not first of all arrest the Fulani handmen you are using to kidnap people before you talk about the security in Nigeria. People are capable to defend their land, their ancestral land, with their vigilante. Keep your police in order. They are all book around. We don't need them. Bunch of useless set of people parading themselves as S military governor, president. We are tired of your rubbish. It's our governors that are the ones doing those things, but we will remember them soon because every saboteur must be dealt with. Nonsense. Just look at what somebody is talking about. You want you, uh, you have done it before to mobilize people to fight in security. You don't. You did it in nineteen from nineteen sixty seven to nineteen seventy. You are talking about debos. This is sadly because you did it and you go free. Nothing happened to you. No international criminal court of law is holding you responsible. That is why you can come out here and talk rubbish. Useless old man that destroyed Nigeria. Sometimes I wonder. Channel TV. Things like this is the only thing they know how to do. Sabotua television channel. Bonkoms, scalawars, parading themselves as channel TVs. I'm sick and tired of all these people. Well, we'll be waiting. Great viewers, thank you so much for listening to this news. I want to put your comment in the comment section. That was Wabangida IBB. Interview with Channel TV. The man is still insisting. He's not even have any remorse about what they did from 1967 to 1970. He's still talking. What is was trying to say that they will repeat it again. Let them try it and see what will happen. I don't give a damn what they are talking about. Some people might understand it in a different way, but that is exactly what I understood. They right there. So as far as he mentioned from 1967 to 1970, he is, he is talking about Biafrans and Ibos. And believe me, <laughs> that was then, not now anymore. Bunch of bastard illiterate calling themselves leaders. Great viewers, like I said, please drop your comment in the comment section, share this news, and stay blessed as you do. Cheers.